we're not bringing this across. We'll bring that across to the 20 mil mark. Yeah. Okay. Now we're on a full size roof. So this, this, this will be a little bit bigger. So we bring that through. Okay. I can spray that down. And then we're going to cut that off. Okay. So we're going to cut that off nice and square. need to mark half the width of this across here. If you just take a piece of that, line that up, we can, we can, we can do it approximately yeah. to that point yeah. now. So that is where our internal corner is going to hit, between here and here. Yeah. So when this goes in, that's going to follow that line. Yeah. We also need to mark half the width of this across here. If you just take a piece of that, line that up, we can, we can we can do it approximately yeah. to that point now. So that is where our internal corner is going to hit, between here and here. Yeah. Okay, we put that on here. You see? We've got this right here. Yeah. Okay, that's our height. From that position, yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily clamp this on over here. I can do it either side, it doesn't really matter. I'll do it this side. Just easy for the camera. Okay, so I'm going to clamp that over here. Easier. Like this right through. There as well. Yeah, okay. Just nice to Simple. Readjust it. Bring that through. Slide this off. Keeping that nice and tight. So I can bring this round. And I'm going to tie it off onto that fixing. So it's only a temporary fixing. Okay, just let this. Come out and get that to the right. Now, what I'm going to do is make a little bit of adjustment. Because, can you see this here is too low? Yeah. Right, so if you look at this, I'll do this on the benches. So, I'll look along my rafter. If there's a bow, there's a slight bow, we're going to make that the top. Yeah. And what I'm going to do on here, I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to draw this angle. Same thickness as your timber apart, and now we're going to join this corner up with this corner, and this one with this one. So that's marked up where that goes. Now. We're going to cut across here and across here. That will give us our top cut. Now we're going to mark out this with our bird's mouth. Now what we need to do is, we need to measure down along this line, whatever this measurement was here, from here to here. Okay. So if I measure from here to here, I can see we've got a okay, 63 and a half millimeters. Here, measure down 63 and a half millimeters following the line. Now, don't make the mistake of measuring this way. Now, what I can do is I can now draw a 
and this here would be our pitch line. Yeah. Okay, so draw it approximately where it's going to go. Okay, that'll do. Now I need the length of this measurement from here to here. Now on a full size roof, you need something to help you get yeah. this. But on here, I, I, I can measure that, so I can go from here. So, okay, we've got a measurement. There. So I measure from here, this point, 536. Let's put this in a vise. Obviously, you can put a vise on site, so it's on site you could you could lay this down and say, okay, a saw sort up at an angle running through. But I'm going to put that in here because I can. Following, following your line all the way down. Yep, so you've got that, you've 